on to the next subject. So uh, this is kind of because I know th this is going to be kind of sad and depressing. So I kind of wanted to mix it in with something fun. Uh, so I wanted to talk about Tasha K's Wine is the New Tea. Um, as you guys know, Tasha K does a show Tuesday and Thursdays where she has three, you know, different personalities on the show uh, every every uh, Tuesday and Thursday. And she kind of mixed different people together. Uh, some people have uh, gone on the show multiple multiple times. Like I know Couture Bay, friends of the show Couture Bay, has been on the show multiple times. And, um, you know, she's been rocking and rolling. And I say, oh, this is going to be like the new uh, Fox Soul and stuff like that, right? I felt like the first show was very strong. The first show, definitely strong, knocked it out the park. It was uh, Couture Bay, King Jives, and OKP. And I was like, oh, they got a good thing going. And I was like, I definitely think they should do it like for a month and then switch and transition over. So I know they had a few panelists that people didn't really care for. Or they thought was not entertaining or flat out just boring and they hated it. And it seems like people are, you know, kind of choosing their favorites. Like, oh, I like this person. It should be this person. I like this person. So I know right now they're just kind of exchanging the people out. But that's why I said in the beginning, if you go when I first made commentary on this, if you go to the beginning, I said that the people need to stay on for at least like a month and then change them out. Or if you change somebody out, just change like one at a time. Like don't do a drastic like three new people because it shocks people. You know what I mean? It, it shocks people. They're like, wait, what's going on? Like, who are these people? Because you're always going to get that question because you're coming to Tasha K's channel, right? And so you're expecting to see Tasha K. That's like if you come to my channel, you come to see AT2, right? And then all of a sudden, it's Benita on the screen. And you'd be like, wait, Benita's not AT2. Like, this ain't AT2. So it gets kind of confusing where if you had, like, at least, like, a, a designated cast for, like, a month, at least they know, oh, this is who we're watching, this is who we see. Another thing is that they don't announce who beforehand comes on the show. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't know until I click on the video until I know who it is. But they don't announce like who it's going to be before it, it happens, right? 48, let me know because I know you're a wino too. And shout out to Bay Squad, yes. But they don't announce who's going to be on the show, so it's always like a surprise. Your subscribers would be. I, I hope you do come on the show one day, Benita. Yeah, like I, I don't, but I don't think they announced who's going to be on the show beforehand. So it's literally just like a, okay, who is it going to be? I think if they announced it, like, hey, we have blah blah blah. You know them from this and that, blah blah blah. Kind of gave them like an introduction. We would then know who the people were before you know they came on. But it's just kind of like. It just seems like it's just kind of random where I think like they need, hopefully what my suggestion is, is that they pick permanent hosts. And this is going to be the controversial part. I think for permanent hosts, definitely Couture Bay. She should be the moderator. I think Couture Bay does great. She's great to look at. She's beautiful. Like you need someone that catches the eye. You know what I mean? It's great lighting, great everything. So Couture Bay should definitely be a main host. And I believe King Jive's only done it once, but I would like to see King Jive's again. I think he should be another permanent host. And then maybe the third chair, they exchange that out for other people. I think that would be smart, the third chair. And then, you know, when it gets a little boring with Couture Bay and King Jive's, then put two new people in for, you know, another couple of months and then exchange out that third seat where it's like a guest or something like that. You know, kind of use that Fox Soul model. It ain't stealing. It's just a suggestion. I, I think that would be dope. And then when you finally, you know, after a while, when you exchange out so many people, you get permanent hosts or you at least get people that, you know, people are going to know who they are for at least, you know, a couple of months. So it's not just random people all the time. Put a one in the chat if you agree with what I'm saying, or put a two in the chat. You just like it to be random people all the time. I do. I do love Couture Bay. Um, 
I love Kakorbe because she's she she kind of reminds me of me. And this is what I mean by that. She's a fan of other content creators. And when I started this platform, and I told you guys in the backup channel, I was fans of other content creators. And um, she's always showing people love. She's never like in the drama and stuff like that. She's always showing people love. And that's what I like to do too. So we have similarities in that way. Yeah, I need permanent people, no switching. Right, right, right. Hi, Beauty for Ashes. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I think they just need permanent people instead of switching it out. I think, um, mm, who, else, who else would I say was good? I think I watched the show yesterday. I would say um, the plainest Jane. I think the plainest Jane was good as a moderator. So she could be like a substitute. Uh, Bonnie Blue. Bonnie Blue is always awesome, but I know Bonnie Blue is kind of doing her own thing, so and she also does shows on the app, too, so I think that would be good for her. Like, as far as, like, maybe like, coming in, like, every so often, but Bonnie Blue, I know she does her own thing on the app, too, right? No, you can tell, like, by me questioning it that I ain't bought the app, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get the app one day. I'm gonna get it one day, y'all. <laughs> oh 48 you said no oh wait 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 which put who you saying no to don't be no punk put who you saying no to put a name on it put an address on it put an address on it don't be scared <laughs> Okay, you have that. Okay, Benita, give me your login so I can log. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Yeah, and I know a lot of Tasha K's interview, it goes there first. Oh, okay, Jay. Oh, okay, you didn't like her. Okay. I know that she kind of do like deep dives and stuff like that. That's why I was saying like she'd be good as like the moderator and how to, you know, make the show flow and stuff like that. But you said, nah. Okay, okay. I respect it. You know, I respect it. Okay. Um, I, I would like to see Make It Make Sense on there. I don't think as a permanent host, but at least like that third chair or something like that. If we got Katorbe and King Jives, at least that third chair put him in. I would like to see that. Um, he's a friend of the show. Definitely would like to see him in there. Um, who else? I would like to see Nadi on there. What's up, Nadi? I'd like to see Nadi on there. I think that would be a perfect opportunity for Nadi to be on that panel too. Yeah, hopefully one day we'll get to see Nadi on there. I think she'd be good for that. Now, it wasn't 40, I think it was Chicago Cloud. Shout out to Chicago Cloud if you're in here right now, but I had seen their comment and they were like, yo, you know who I'd like to see? And I'm gonna say the names because I don't mind. But they're like, I would like to see a show with Wiley, Denot, and AT2. Now, <laughs> and I told Couture Bay this, right? Um, I don't think that would happen. However, the only way that I would agree to it, I'm not gonna say I would say no to that because if it would entertain the people and be funny, yeah, let's do it. But I will say this. Only if we get to fight on camera, and I don't mean physically because I got a broken ankle, but as long as I can say, no, your opinion is stupid, that is wrong, and we'll be able to get into it on the show and do a, like a little back and forth, um, because I think that's what the show is missing too. That's what the show is missing. Like you see like a, a panel show, like, um, uh, well, not even just a panel show, like a duo show, like when it came to um, a first take, um, or not first take, Undisputed with uh, Skip Bailey's and uh, Shannon Sharp. It literally was like a back and forth. Like they had difference of opinion, some stuff they agreed on, but it was a, like a difference of opinion. And people loved it when they went back and forth. And let's be honest, Shannon Sharp made the show because no uh, Undisputed is about to get canceled. Um, another show, The View. The View, um, they don't always agree. They have different people of political spectrums and they disagree with each other. People like that. 
you can disagree and sometimes it gets heated. Now, I don't mean like you should be cussing and yelling at somebody, but we kind of want to see a little bit more difference of opinion and more of that question like, well, I, why do you feel that way? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Or can you clarify what you mean? Because I don't agree with that. Or we can come back and rebut. Like, I want to see a little bit more rebuttal. Does anybody agree? Put up one if you agree with that. You want to see more rebuttals. I don't want to say fights. Let me say the word rebuttals. Put a one in the chat if you agree with that. Just a little bit more rebuttal. Yeah. Because it kind of moves a little fast. It kind of like, okay, one the moderator states the topic and then gives their opinion. Then the next one, then the next one, and then they move on. It's kind of like no question. Like, well, I kind of don't agree with that or I agree or, you know. I would like a little bit more debating because it seems like we just talk about the topic and then we move on. There's no discussion. And I don't know if it's a time limit, too. And you know, oh, Jesus. I am surprised because some of these people that have been on the show, on their own channel, they're a little long-winded. And it's kind of like, oh, a little long-winded. But, I mean, they've been able to keep the flow, though. You know, keep the flow, keep the flow, keep the flow. So, yeah. What's up, Patrice? How you doing? Yeah, but a little bit more, you know, back and forth and stuff like that. I would like that. A little bit more rebuttal. But yeah, that's my opinion on that. And then for those of you just coming in, we did talk about Kate Middleton earlier. Uh, she has announced that she is going through chemotherapy. She's in the early stages right now. Um, again, she had abdominal surgery and they were able to find, you know, cancer cells. So they had to go ahead. They recommended that she go ahead and get treated for uh, safety, you know, like a safety concern for her. So uh, definitely prayers to her. I hope she's all right. And uh you know, I, I still feel strongly about the royal family. Don't get me wrong. I still feel like it's unnecessary. I don't understand that ish, but I don't wish nothing on nobody. You know, that is somebody mama at the end of the day. So that's all I got to say, y'all. But thank y'all for checking out the show. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you already have it. I love y'all. Deuces, everybody. But we out.